Okay, it looks like we're going. Yeah, we're live. Uh, so I had uh, some questions that I saw from uh, Vinod and Diana. Uh, I know about um, uh, the blogging and what sites to use and all that sort of thing. So uh, I'm not the foremost expert or anything, but uh, I've been doing it since I was in um, AD Wheeler's cohort. I learned how to do the blogging and everything. And uh, I just thought I would show you guys around my site, how I do it. And uh, at least it's a little bit of information. So, and if I can answer any questions, then I'll give it a try. So screen share. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you might want to click on it, Evan. You might want to click on it before you start talking. So, so for the recording, that stays up front. Hey, Damien. Good afternoon. <laughs> Is it up right now? Yep. Okay. Deal. I'm going to uh, the front page of my website here. Yeah, that's taking forever. Probably by doing this hangout, I'm probably taking all my country bandwidth here. <laughs> okay, so we'll let that load for a while. <laughs> uh, so I use WordPress. Um, I didn't set it all up. Uh, AD set up our sites for us and then kind of showed us how to use everything. So. Uh, I can kind of show you guys around though and show you the, I know one of the plugins that's really important is Yoast for okay. you know. um, So this is the dashboard. I know Bo said he has a WordPress. Uh, anybody else use it yet or? I have WordPress too. Oh, okay. So it comes up onto this, uh, dashboard here and the posts you can click here and see all your posts at least that came up really quickly um, so yeah I guess I'll go into showing you how I do a, a post uh, so you can click add new I just started this uh, Cloverland post, so I figured I would just kind of show you on that. Hello. <laughs> there you <we> go. Hello. <laughs> okay, so put a title in up here, and then after a couple of sentences, you want to put in a uh, read more tag. Whoa, my stuff isn't all here. Oh, that's because I'm a mess. That scared me. <laughs> okay. So I've kind of written a little bit of an introduction and then I'm going to put this uh, read more tag. And then carry on in that one. People see your post, they'll see this. In a couple of sentences, and you're supposed to kind of try to hook them in and leave them hanging somehow. 
and they'll do the read more tag, so they'll click on that. Uh, so we were looking for some uh, our axles. Blah, 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 blah. So you got all this stuff. And uh, whenever you want to add me uh, add a picture, uh, so let's say I'm, I'm going to add the first picture. I'm going to go to media. Oh, no, not that one. Now I'm nervous. Sorry. <laughs> add media, that little button there. So this comes up with your uh, gallery of things that you've uploaded on the site, but these are all small pictures that I used on here, uh, so it doesn't take up that much space. So I'm going to go to insert from URL, and then uh, just go over to my Smug Mug site, and I've got the gallery loaded up already here. So I'm going to put this one here. So this little share button, you hit that. Hmm. And then you choose what size you want to use. I usually use like the X2 large. And then just uh, copy that code right there. Back over here, paste it in. Uh, you can put a caption if you want, alt text. So basically, like if the picture isn't showing up, Tell people what it is. Uh, not, I don't think that that's real important for SEO anymore. Um, I've heard a little bit about, but it's not. Uh, the alignment, I usually put center. And then down here on the custom URL, uh, what you do here is you put in, if somebody clicks on the picture, you put the URL where you want it to take them. So what we do is we go to the cart and get that. Mm -hmm. that in. And insert that into the post. There it is. Use that. So when someone clicks on it, it goes to the cart instead of some the picture. Yeah. And actually, I'm going to show you something else. Uh, I usually at the end I'll go through and do this to all my pictures. But um, you click on it, then you can go up here to edit, and you can still edit those things. And uh, under this attribute here is where I put. Um, In that little thing, so whenever you hover above it, it'll show that. And then you want it to open, and you don't uh, leave your. Then I'm going to preview that and show you. Again with that. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay, well, I'll let that go for a minute. Uh, okay. Over here on format, we usually put as an image post. This is kind of for the whole post, what, what it is. Uh, 
categories. I'm going to say this is historic. Uh, In the landscape too. Uh, and then in here you would put tags. Um, anchor, floor, whatever. Uh, so you add all your tags. Featured image is the one that's going to show up uh, under your banner. And with those, we use these small ones. But, uh, it's only 506 kilobytes. Set that. Okay, down here in the snippet, uh, what it does is it's going to add your first couple sentences down in that. You can click on it and change that if you want. That's what it's going to show up on uh, uh, the search engines and everything under. This is basically like a preview. This, okay, I, this is actually part of Yoast SEO. And as you're writing your posts and everything, it's going to um, give you a score on the readability and basically the SEO value of it. And it'll kind of give you hints on what to do. Sometimes you want to change that snippet there. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it now, but down here it'll list. Uh, so no focus keyword was set for the page. Yeah, I usually have to play with it to get some green lights on this stuff. <laughs> uh, and then it, it just kind of grades you on everything. And then you watch this right here, try to get a green light. That uh, means it's got good SEO. And then down here on the header to make that uh, featured image uh, the banner, to make it a fixed image. Uh, you know, if you got like a really large image and you're not really wanting to show all of it, you, know, you could change, you could say medium. And if the most important part of the image is in the bottom, say, then you would put that. Uh, I'm just going to do large, see how it works out. Uh, you can set a custom title down here if you want and subtitle. This stuff is kind of just always there. For this next script, I'll show you guys in a second also. Let's see if that came up. That's weird. It's, did you see that link in there and then go away? Huh. Well, of course, something weird's going on since I'm showing you guys this. Yeah. Yeah, this is free, uh, isn't it? Um. I'm not sure. I think there might be a free level and then a paid level. Okay. Yeah, I think Yoast is free. At least it came with the. Uh, I have it installed. I just don't use anything, but it's free. I only did one blog last year for the whole freaking year. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> but I'd like to start trying to do one or two, yeah. three or four a month, you know. I don't have Yoast, though, I don't think. I have something else. For SEO, I like how you're getting your your photos from your smug mug. Mm -hmm. yes. I think that because you know some of these web hosting places are charging you by size of how much crap you upload too, and mm -hmm. if you're bringing it in from somewhere else, 
then you don't have to deal with that, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing. That's why we load uh, small ones on, like this picture was a small picture onto our servers. And then we just use smart bug for the big high res. Mm -hmm. um, so here's what finally shows your title over the banner because we made it the fixed image. And then so this is what the post is going to look like. If you hover over this, see it says click for print and download options. Click on that, it takes them right to the gallery. And it actually it pops that for a second and then it brings up the cart. So then they could go, oh yeah, okay, well, wall art, canvas, shows all this stuff. You know, bam. Pretty easy, and once you get everything set up, yeah, and it's a good way to go. And nice. then they're in the gallery too. If they close that, they can look at all the others. This was really cool. The snow <laughs> built up in that door thing frame. <laughs> cool, man. Have you had a lot of um, positive results through doing through doing this? I'm still, you know, I'm still building. I haven't actually sold any pictures through doing this, but I've, uh, you know, gained a little bit more following on yeah. all the media and everything. And I think once, uh, once I get a lot more, then maybe it'll be better. Uh, I think I'm at like 30, 38 or 39. Uh, blog post so far. I'm trying to get my goal is to get to 50 of them and then I'm going to set the auto resharing uh, so that I've got enough uh, stuff in there that it won't be resharing the same thing all the time. Yeah. And that'll, uh, you know, that'll drive people there a little more often because the, the media stream that goes by on everything is so fast that you just don't see things very often uh, so somebody might may not have seen a post I did and it'll come up again and then they'll see it and click on it uh, so I can show you that uh, snap thing basically we set it up you can set up your different accounts uh, in this next script uh, for each one, you put in your password and all that in the settings. And then whenever you click publish, it publishes to all these different accounts. Except for, I don't think Flipboard works very well. <laughs> and stumble upon just doesn't seem to work. So is that like your Facebook and all that? Is that the accounts you're talking about, or? Yeah, yeah. All your different social media, you just go and set them up. And uh, whenever you click publish, it publishes it on your site, on your WordPress site, and then it puts the little blurb with the picture uh, on your social media and okay. Instagram. Like I even have it there. The thing with Instagram, like. See, I've got these hashtags, and it works on most of the different things. Um, yeah, you don't see blogs on Instagram. In Instagram. You never see blogs on Instagram, right. though, so maybe. Right, it just shows up as a, as a picture. Like, yeah, you cannot put a link on an Instagram post. That's the reason why. It cannot link out to anywhere else. What about um, videos? Do you do the same thing? Videos. With the... I'll show you that. So what you want to get for that is this. Um, what's the name of it? It's like ultimate short code system. Ultimate short code. Uh, and that's this thing. What I do is I host my videos on YouTube. And I'll just uh, go to this YouTube advanced. And you just put the URL of your video right here. 
Yeah. I'm not sure what this. I'm not sure what this URL is. But I'll just click on it and see what it. Uh, I don't know if I was actually on the page here. Try that again. Okay, so that puts the short code in for you. And then uh, you preview it. See if it'll take forever to load again. That's a riff off. It's like showed up for a second, then it goes away. Huh. <laughs> it's because you have an audience. Uh, I, yeah. Whatever. Uh, Murphy's Law, you know. Oh, well. Anyway, it shows that brings your video up. Uh, okay. And actually, Actually, yeah, get rid of that and it has that preview live thing. So this, I mean, it has a million things that I've never even uh, explored. But. Do any of you other guys use Mug Mug? No, I want to set up an account. That's why I was asking uh, what level of, because they have like very, uh, different levels of plans. And I think the lower levels you can only sell to, or you can only buy yourself or yeah. have it shipped to like your friends, I think. Yeah. Yeah, when I was looking at it earlier, it said you had to have the uh, portfolio with the business account to sell. Oh. Yeah, I got the portfolio one. What they just did that I really, really, I just figured it out a couple weeks ago, but I love it, is that now you can import directly from Flickr to your smoke mug. Hmm. Um, and it's even, oh, it's nice. even make, bring in the captions and the tags and everything along with it. Wow, cool. Yeah, so it's like, since I've written all these captions up on all my Flickr stuff, I can just create move it over, and it gives it a lot more of a um, streamlined, informative look. Can you bring in from 500px? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, let me see. I can. Where is that upload button? Way up here. So here's the choices. I don't see 500 PA. Check out Google. Okay. Yeah. Um, so another thing, you know, that's cool about that. Uh, uh, go to it. Okay, so you do all your settings and add new accounts and those sort of things, but it has this cool quick post thing. You can put in a title, a little caption, um, and then uh, do an image post and then put your URL from your smug mug image right here. And then if you hit post and all those social media accounts oh, wow. one click which is kind of cool what is the what plugin is that called again it's uh, it's up here at the top next scripts mm -hmm. social networks auto post next scripts but that one might cost you know with, um, ad kind of included a lot of stuff with um, the spear two thing, so I'm not sure exactly which things cost and which don't until uh, until we have to start paying them. <laughs> Is yeah. he still running that spear two? What's that? 
Is uh, AD still running that Sphere 2? Because I didn't see it in the list of Sphere 2s. Oh, tools. no. He's not doing it anymore. Oh. Uh, he's doing some other stuff. He, he stopped doing the Arcanum now. Uh, he's on that This Week in Photo or something now, right, isn't he? Uh, he was talking about that. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I uh, thought that I saw that he was like the new It's All About the Gear guy on This Week in Photo. So he's got his own show. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Well, if it, if it is, he was talking about that, but I don't know if it worked out or not. Because I haven't seen anything. Uh, let's see. So do you guys have any other? Yeah. Um, so when I go to your page, I see the galleries. Now, is that something that you set up? Or like if you post something uh, in a blog, does it automatically go in your gallery? Um, OK. Is, it's actually my Smug Mug site. That's what I do, oh. too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. My galleries are my smug mug, too. Yeah. Can so you put all your photos on smug mug? Yeah. As a, as a backup? Well, I mean, that's, that's like the main it, place. it can be a good backup, but it's, you know, one of the best places to sell, too. Yeah. Um, you know, I use Flickr first because I get more action on Flickr than anywhere. But now that Smug Mug and Flickr will talk to each other, I just put it on Flickr and then copy from Flickr over to Smug Mug because my tags and my captions will follow, follow it, which is really nice. So how do you set up your galleries from Smug Mug? And the reason we do this is because it still looks like you're on my website. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't look like you're left, so that's nice. Where you do that is just under uh, is it settings. Let's see, it's under page, uh, yeah, pages. Oh my goodness, my internet is so slow out here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably because you're hosting this. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's just like a wireless connection to uh, another transmitter on the mountain. Um, we don't have cable or anything out here, so. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> I thought it was. In. How did you do it, Bo? Um, I think that I had because you've got your. On your home page, you've got the place to set up five different, four or five different links. And I think I just had one of them as okay. my Smug Mug galleries. See, I think on pages okay, where you're looking at, I think that's for the, I think that's for the blog. But you've got another page where you set up the, you know, the, huh. your, your links on the top of the page. The yeah, I thought yeah, that, that's category, part of the yeah. undone homepage. Yeah, I think it is on the homepage. See, that's another thing that I don't know that I could set up my site as nice as it is. It was taking a lot to figure it out because AD did so much for us. That's why I hit a blog, uh, right. a block because I just couldn't figure out how to make. <laughs> the whole thing worked. Right. Um, another thing I kind of do understand is, let's see, these widgets. That's, uh, you know, I've got everything on my, let's see, let's go to home. So you can add uh, ads and things like that in your sidebars. And then I have like the Instagram slider. Yeah. Um, so in blog subscriptions, you know, you want people to subscribe. So uh, you can add and they just kind of go in order. Okay. 
draft the script for uh, buy me a coffee thing. I don't see anything. Oh, OK. No. So that's, oh, that was quick. OK. So here's my uh, subscriber thing. And then here's the buy me a coffee thing. So it just kind of puts them. And uh, once you get you know blog going, one thing that I've actually done well on is I've uh, gotten some free software <laughs> to get all the on one software free. For doing what? Uh, for advertising. Uh, if you become affiliate with them, you know, if, you, if you have, uh, you've showed that you're you know being active and everything, you go apply. Um, the different softwares or whatever that you use. And, uh, so if somebody clicks on my ad here, goes there and ends up uh, downloading and buying on one raw or whatever, um, then I'll get a, a kind of a commission. Uh, but besides that, since I'm an affiliate, then I get the software for free so that I can try it out and I can recommend it and all that. Um, is that was that pretty easy to do? Yeah, you just fill out a form, you know, just search uh, on one affiliate, uh, Topaz affiliate. See this one, I think I might have. Let me do that one. That one, I think I had to email them to kind of uh, anything to them and say that you know, do this blog suggested or something like that. Um, they check a log, and if they think that you know, it's a good deal for them, then they. they uh, Amazon is pretty easy, you know. You just fill out a form, and then uh, if anybody clicks on my banners here, if you guys are ever thinking about it, <laughs> and you're gonna buy something on Amazon anyway, just uh, click on that, and then it doesn't matter what you. Uh, what you buy uh, do you get a discount if you buy your own stuff got it figured out dang it. uh and you know what i even had my wife buy the uh rico theta camera for me to see if that would work and it didn't <laughs> uh, i don't know how they knew she was my wife but they knew so <laughs> I've never actually made a commission on that either. I'm like, amazed because you know, I buy a ton of stuff on Amazon, but I guess nobody has clicked over and then purchased. Uh, but you know, I'm just kind of building. It takes forever to to build up uh, a blog site, basically, and so I've just kind of been doing the grind and I've been kind of busy lately, so I haven't been able to. To blog much. Hmm. Uh, Do you know if you can have like multiple galleries uh, in uh, on Smug Mug and have like like you know different theme galleries and things like that? I do. I've got like yeah. maybe eight or nine different ones. Oh, well, what's your website, Bo? BoRogers.com. Okay, I should check it out. Yeah, and you can you can set the galleries. Uh, yeah, you can customize the look. Each one, whenever you upload, to be private, or it's just you, or uh, you can see in there, or the public folder um, and gallery, so then you can do it differently. Hmm. That was not the place I wanted to go on that. But anyhow, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty good deal. I I didn't have it before I started blogging, but this is basically how uh, all the guys in that cohort were doing it, and it works out works out well. So I like it now. Uh, I used to have. Uh, Zenfolio and uh, 
uh, I like the smug mug better actually. So. Yeah, yeah, like Word, WordPress is the way to go once you get it figured out, right? I mean, it seems like that's the yeah. best yeah. of the book. It's got a bit of a learning and curve, but you know, you're getting yourself ready to get for you know to get seen and. I think having the SEO stuff is like the most most important. Yeah, you know, if if you search like, um, what was it? Well, <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, so. It, you know, I searched Slick Poo Idaho. And by doing that SEO stuff, well, this right here is my picture. It's number one. I don't know why there's a jock strap. <laughs> uh, this one is mine right here. All I see is a picture of a big cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, still? Yeah. Well, it's making it's making me freaking hungry, man. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's I think it takes some time. To know it. That's my background. That big cheeseburger. <laughs> every time I open up a blank page. Oh yeah. That doesn't make you hungry every time you open a browser. <laughs> see it? I don't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I see the image search yet? I no. I just see the burger. Uh, okay. Then. Well, anyway, whenever you, you know, by doing that SEO, when it, it's helped my stuff a lot, like my picture came up, one of mine came up first uh, in the image search. And then uh, top few rows. Uh, I, I do get hit from the search engines. Um, oh, let's see, where is it? Can you guys see my dashboard again? Are you still looking at my cheeseburger? It's opening yeah, your dashboard. It's opening up slowly. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> let's, see, let's see. I'll go to this. when I had more kids. Well, now I'm living so. <laughs> okay. Well, a lot of times it'll show down here under the search engine. It'll show or under search engines, you know, so I got one from Bing and one from Google today. And it looks like I got eight of them from Google yesterday. So, I mean, it, it works by doing the SEO, it does help uh, get you seen. Yeah. Is that? That's called Jetpack? Is that new? I think it's another plugin, actually. Okay. Um, so that, yeah, that shows yeah. the stats. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I have it too. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I need to upgrade my WordPress. Yeah, so the, the Jetpack is basically your stats. And okay. I just got Do you use free. Google uh, Analytics also? And uh, I think somewhere you've got to enter in the, the Google Analytics things, probably under the setting somewhere, but. Um, Let's see. 
see what any other plugins. Social comments you want to add. And Do you have a page for like people to sign up, like um, to get on your list? Um, it's just right here. Yeah, I get letters. On this, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just sign up right there. Uh, whenever you're in a, in a post, hopefully it won't take too long to load here. I had to get some heavy duty spam filter too because I was getting like 5,000 comments of just crap when I'd make a post. Yeah, my email was going crazy. It was about like Viagra, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pack, I think, has kind of a, a spam filter thing with it. And um, this, I think it's called a heatier. Oh, my gosh. Your social comments. I'm pretty sure that's the one I've actually got running. I I um, installed one that was dumb and didn't work. Yeah, so it looks like that's the actual one. Uh, so whenever you're in a oh, for the love of God, <laughs> when you're watching a post load forever. Then you just leave because you don't want to wait. Okay, another one is the sumo me. And see this uh, sharing bar on the left? Don't see anything yet. Oh. Well, the bar on the left with Facebook and Pinterest and all that, Google Plus. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So that'll pop up kind of over there so people can share your post just click, click on Facebook or whatever and, um, and what's that called again again that's sumo me right here and then the social comments I really wanted to show you that Oh, this is annoying. Anyway, at the bottom of my blog posts, um, you know, scroll way down, there'll be a place where you can comment and you can choose if you want it to be Facebook or Google Plus um, or whatever. And if you comment on that, well, then it will automatically share it on your Facebook also that you commented on this thing. And so it's kind of like another way that shared. Hmm. So that's a good one. That's that social comments, the heatier. And this will not load, so I don't know what's going on there. Let's see. Instagram slider that shows the Instagram pictures across the bottom. Uh, you don't want to get this map press. I tried that. It was a pain. <laughs> mm. You could actually just use that ultimate um, short codes, and there's an insert Google Maps thing with that. Or short codes ultimate. There it is. And it looks like that's. That's all the ones I understand, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Yeah. Wow, that's I learned some stuff. Not, Hope so. Like I said, I'm not like you know not the, the big expert, but that's I have a rudimentary knowledge and I should post so <laughs> give you kind of a start. Nice. That's great. And, uh, Oh, that always looks weird. Let me hit stop broadcast, I guess, now then. <laughs>